Hi everyone, if you're watching for the first time, my name is Marianne. I'm the owner and counsellor of Marianne Hansen Counselling Service. I specialise in working with couples and individuals in the areas of low self-esteem, stress, anxiety and depression. And what I want to talk about in this video is can we learn anything from pain or painful experiences? So the majority of people avoid pain they avoid the experience of painful experiences. They will do anything they can to avoid that situation and that's natural. No one wants to purposely put themselves in situations where they're gonna feel hurt or where they're gonna um, feel pain. However, is there anything we can learn from it? So if you're familiar with someone called David Goggins, he was a military person, I think he was a Marine, he was in the Marine Corps and he also broke the record for doing something like 20, did he do 21 marathons, one after the other or something like that and he talked about how pain can be used in a good way. So these are three things I think we can learn and I also want to talk to you a little bit about some of my experiences and how what led me to feel this way as well. The first thing is that you can learn how resilient and how tough you are. So when you're in a painful situation you're so focused on avoiding the pain that you don't realise that the fact that you're getting through it, you're having to find resources, you're having to be quite clever and say, how am I going to reduce this pain? So whether that's at the gym and you want to push through and do your reps, but you're in a lot of pain, your brain has to find a way of you managing to keep going. Maybe it's the incentive you're going to have afterwards. Maybe you're thinking, if I keep going, my body's going to look a certain way. So you have to, it's, you realise how resilient you are and then it's also what happens at the end. Once you get through it, that tells you everything. So the two situations for me, I think, where I've experienced the most pain, there's been three, but well, not three, because one of them spraining my ankle. I don't think people will be like, oh, that's not a lot of pain. For me, that was, I've not had any broken bones, I've not had any operations, I've not really had a lot of pain in that, in terms of my body. So when I sprained my ankle it felt like I was almost dying <laughs> I was like being a right baby but I just thought oh but the second one which was really painful was food poisoning and I've had food poisoning twice and I literally was in so much pain that I literally was saying if I had the option I've just that's it just just die I'm um, just take a pill and then it would be over with and that's it then I would have done it um but then what I learned from that is on day one the pain that I was feeling when I was just lying on the floor and I could not get up. Then day two, day three, it took five days for me to feel back to normal. But as I've said, you know how tough you are because then I thought, oh, okay, I got through it. There's no like aftermath, it's fine. So the second thing you have to think about is um, just kind of what might happen in the future. So if you were in the same situation in the future, because you've been through it once, then you can go through it again. So bereavement for me was something I've been through twice. I've been through it in terms of people close to me. So the two people are my dad and then my sister. And one case, like my dad was obviously elderly and he had an illness, but with my sister it was sudden. And I think I think you know not only how tough you are eventually when you come through something like that, but you also know that if, if I, I know now that if I had an, have another bereavement in the future, because I've dealt with those two bereavements in a certain way, I know how to expect and process the grieving process. I know how long it's probably going to take for me to get back to where I need to get to. So it's like it prepares you for the future. And the third thing, I've got to write this down, is that you know with pain and painful experiences, you know that nothing lasts forever and that gives you a good sense of relief really so when you're in a painful situation rather than just focusing on the here and now right I'm in pain how am I gonna stop feeling like this oh this is so horrible oh this pain is unbearable think to yourself do you know what I'm feeling pain now but I'm not gonna feel like this this is good for breakups lots of people when they um, have a relationship breakup they're thinking I'm not gonna meet anyone I'm never gonna be able to eat I'm never gonna be able to um, trust another man I'm always going to feel like this, my heart is broken and they're just telling themselves that there's no way of them getting moving past it. Nothing lasts forever in life, nothing, not pain either. So if you can sort of tell yourself, although I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling now, it's not going to last forever, then that is a good way of you getting to a point where you start to think about actions of how you can move forward and also start to feel better about the fact that where you are now is not where you'll be soon. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, don't forget to share it with others. Also, don't forget to like, leave your comments. And if you're interested, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate all my subscribers. Thanks for watching. Bye.